Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be a little different than the makeup video. So on my Instagram, I posted the story of my home screen and then I received quite a bit of DMs on how I did it. So it's like a long process. I couldn't have like explained it. And then I posted a poll on Instagram stories. If you guys want me to create a video and like 90... 8% something said yes. So that is what I am doing today. Okay, so this is my lock screen. As you can see, it's a video of me. For this step, you do not require the iOS 14. But for the home screen to be laid out like this with widgets and custom app icons, you need iOS 14. So if you do not have iOS 14, go update your phone and then check on to this video so let's first talk about the lock screen so the app you need to download to have video as your lock screen is video to live the top app over here now i am going to choose a video of me so for example this is the video i want as my lock screen so firstly i will go to options and I will remove sound that way your app just does not crash so just drag this white bar in the bottom and choose whichever bar you want to be as your lock screen cover for example this and then you get the option of make cover just click on that and now this is your cover okay now just press on convert wait for the ad to finish it's a free app so you gotta watch the ad okay done now go to your gallery your photos you will have a new video over here now click on to the bottom left go to use as wallpaper make sure the live photo option is on zoom out and set set as lock screen this only works on your lock screen so this is how your lock screen looks now now let's get to the main point why you're here to have a custom home page let's talk about the widgets so i will leave the apps i have used in the description bar down below first let's talk about widget smith so this app gives you various various options as you can see here on top i have the kilometers i have walked today not much my photo and you get options for small, medium, and large widgets. So I'm gonna add a medium widget now. Click on to add medium widget and select that. Again, select onto the picture. Now here you get a lot of options, right? So uh, you got a lot of timer options. Then you get a lot of like date and calendar options. Then you can have your photos. Uh, you can have your custom text, like write anything or your calendar like upcoming events then you also have the sunrise and sunset time for this video let's put in a custom text right so type in your text um let me type in still i rise so after typing your text you get a lot of uh, font options so i'm gonna choose new york then i can change the text color here i got a lot a lot of options for my theme the purple will work and for the background i'm gonna choose a complete white one and also you can have a border as you can see you have a lot of border colors as well so i'm gonna go with purple again then just go back and save right now exit the app long press on the home screen on the top left you will get the plus icon then swipe and go to the widget smith option and whatever widget you made small medium or large i made the medium one so onto the medium click add widget and there you go there is a widget we made so yeah as i showed you with widget smith you got a lot a lot of options now let's talk about where i got the weather from so this is from the app hey 
weather now again go to widget and again you get the small medium and large large is like really large i really do not use large widgets i just stick to small and medium these colors are logged you only got option for three colors and you also got like different graphics you can choose any and then save the process for all of them is same long press on the screen to the plus icon here you go hey feather we made a small one right now so there you go it's added there is your widget for hey weather and to remove the widget you can just long press and remove widget remove the one i have from hey weather has the current weather then the sunset and sunrise what it feels like the humidity level and it's beautiful then i have photo widget let me open it so here you can add up to 30 pictures so i will just add one for instance let's add this one now go on to the settings on the right top and here you can see the option for the photo refreshal interval now you can choose on how much interval you want your photos to rotate i have selected it to five minutes and for these it's the same process again just plus icon you will go to the photo widget add widget and here you go there's one more of that this particular widget gives me the day date month time and also my battery percentage so this is from color widgets the color widgets is just for the date and time herein you have a lot of options you can even add your own picture as a background the top one is the one i have let me custom make another one for you select any then go to edit widget then choose your color whichever color you desire see you can go like light colored dark as well let's go with green one then again you get a lot of options for the font as well then you can add your own picture so it will open up a gallery for you select any picture and set widget so add widget so as you can see now it is showing me my battery percentage and the background is my picture you can have it plain as well this is another widget i have which is motivation let me open this up for you guys so you get a lot of themes as you can see over here you can choose any of these themes these aren't logged but while selecting one you gotta see your ad for example i will select let's say this one so it will say like go premium which means buy it or watch an ad okay so this has been unlocked now for the category a lot of them are logged again but i have it set at the short quotes i do not want any long quotes and now as you can see the theme has been changed now with ios 14 you can also hide a page just long press press on the dots below now right now both of them are ticked so untick the one you want to hide and then done and now as you can see there is no other page so it's very easy to hide the apps now so for having the customized apps you need the app shortcut which comes already installed in your iphone go to pinterest then i will search in pinterest icon like that now there are a lot that will pop up you can choose any that you want i'll choose this one then i will download the image now the actual process starts over here go to shortcuts click onto the plus icon on top right then go to add action then on scripting then on open app then click on choose and choose the app you want to customize for us it is pinterest then click the three dots on the top right then click on add to home screen then add the name you want to add and i will type in pinterest then click onto the picture and click on choose photo then choose the photo you just downloaded from pinterest and then add save the shortcut name as pinterest or whatever you want done 
now as you can see there will be a app right onto your home screen but with doing this there is a backdrop to open the app it goes through shortcut as you can see now the app icons i have in here are my custom made i can show you how i did that so i will go to pixar then go to the plus icon i will go to photos all photos i will select the picture i downloaded which is this one then go to tools crop and crop it to square and apply now go to stickers and type in pinterest logo and you will get a lot of options over here i will go in with this one for example and apply then download so now it is saved to your camera roll now it's the same process as we did earlier with the shortcuts okay so that's it for the video guys i hope you learned how to customize your ios 14 and if you customize your iphones please share me the pictures on my instagram dm me how you have customized it i would love to see them and soon i am going to upload an in-depth makeup tutorial on this look on how to do brown smoky eyes so make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and your notifications are on so that you're notified as soon as i upload a video and i will see you all in next video bye mm.